Oh, if I get this, it's a miracle. Come on, get around that piling. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can at least see what it is. All right, in this video, day two of the live target shrimp versus the gulp shrimp. We have them rigged up on the same setups. We're gonna be doing three casts, three casts with one, three casts with the other, and we're gonna go down this dock line. We're, we're a post cold front once again. This is a great situation for, for using a little small shrimp lure and, and, uh, and really a small shrimp jig, I should say, and bounce it on the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do and really just wanna analyze how these do. So this live target is expensive. It's like $10 for this jig. It's very lifelike looking. Whereas the gulp shrimp doesn't look so lifelike, but it has some really good scent. So it's really, you know, sight versus scent. Let's see what happens. Oh man, that was a thump. Nice ladyfish. All right, we are on the board. I believe this is just a ladyfish. I'm not sure if we should count ladyfish. So leave a comment down below if we should count them. These are a pretty aggressive fish. I think they kind of much, pretty much swipe at everything. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking we might just not even count them. And so this was on the live target though, just in case you're curious. And that puppy is ready for more action. So what I'm doing is just getting, getting around these dock pilings. And uh, just cast it down and just let it sink all the way down the bottom, let it sit for a bit, and just doing a couple little small twitches. These fish are not very aggressive, and so we have to give them time. We have to get it right in their face and give them time to, give them time to eat. All right, so that was third cast. The live target. Now I'll switch over to the gulp. And same thing. And, uh, and also, so in between the docks, there's a nice little shelf. And so it goes from the shoreline and uh, down to where we are, it's about eight feet deep. So I'm basically, if I'm not fishing the dock pines, I'm fishing that shelf where I cast up there in the shallows. And, uh, and just, oh, there's something messing with me. I think it was a small, I think it was just a pinfish. Oh, there goes something else messing with me. So I'm waiting to feel a good thump. Those are just pinfish down, oh, there we are, there we are. So before it was just a little small pinfish mess with me. Ah, another, another ladyfish. So the ladyfish came and thumped it. And we might be in serious ladyfish country. But a very, a very important is to not set the hook on everything you feel. You need to identify those, those taps versus the thumps. So now we're on the gulp shrimp. That guy back out, ready for more action. Some might have been another ladyfish. Let's see. Yep, another ladyfish. <laughs> These things are out of control today. All right, quick release at least. So now I skipped one up underneath that dock, and that's a that's going to be prime prime uh, strike zone. It's just the trouble with that though is when you hook something big, it's prime way to get broken off. That's how we. Had to end our session early last time. I uh, broke off in the live target. And that was the only live target I had. So I'm trying to be a little bit cautious doing that. Ideally, ideally it'll hit right on the outside edge. So I, I really focus on the outside edges. That's just the odds of, of landing the fish are so much higher. But every once in a while, skip one underneath there. All right, third cast. And then we got to switch back to the live target. So now I've just buzzed that the corner of the dock. And so I'm gonna be jigging this shrimp right along the bottom, right next to that corner piling. It's the best way to catch the bigger fish. Ooh, ooh I had something bump me. Something's playing with me still, it's probably ladyfish. Oh, there are some trout out there. There they are. Ah, oh, little guy. Little ladyfish. We are just in ladyfish country. But I know there's gonna be some other fish down there too, so we just gotta, gotta weed through them. Oh, 
There we are. That's a better fish. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh man, it's got me way around the piling. It's on the gulp shrimp. Ooh man, this is gonna be a miracle if I get this guy in. Oh, it's coming out. Ooh, come on. It's rubbing all up on that piling. So right now it's all about, right now it's all about just not breaking the line. So I'm just trying to minimize the amount of rubbing it's doing on those pilings. Oh, it's, so I'm just trying to slowly move them out. Whoa. So we call it the soft hands where if it's pulling, you just give it, give it line. I don't know if you can hear that line rubbing or not, but <laughs> it is rubbing all up and down there. Whoa. All right, still on. All right, I'm gaining on them. Got to head in the right direction. Oh, if I get this, it's a miracle. Come on, get around that piling. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can at least see what it is. Oh yeah, nice nook. It's right on that piling. Check that out. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get him around that piling. Okay, nice. He just turned. We're getting around that piling. We're set. Let's move this rod right out of the way. That's a nice nook. I can't believe it didn't break off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. Now he's on the troll motor. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. I can't believe we just got that thing out of there. All right, oh my gosh. That is, that is a miracle snook catch, if there is one. That is a solid snook. I can't believe we got him out of there. Yeah, the gulp shrimp came off. That was well worth it. All right, so here's that snook. That is a beautiful snook. Really nice fish. Got very fortunate on that. We're gonna go ahead and let him go back at the dock. All right, so that was a long fight. So we're just gonna let this guy revive up. And he is grabbing my thumb real nice. And he's ready to go. All right, we let that snook go and we got out of that dock. That was insane. So gulp shrimp, that certainly, certainly did a good job there. And I'm amazed. I'm gonna have to go check all this line. So that was just 10 pound Power Pro and a 30 pound mono leader. And so I'm gonna go re rig. I just gotta go check this line to make sure there's no nicks in there because it got a lot of rubbing against that piling. So we're gonna go, let me go ahead and re rig and then we'll start the video and do some more tests. All right, so I'm checking this line just in case this happens to you. You just wanna look for any sort of nicks at all. And so I'm seeing a couple little frays. So I'm gonna go ahead, I don't see any more frays further up. So it was all down in the last like five or six feet. And, uh, and so obviously with leaders, like this leader is all, all roughed up. You can see it was rubbing up against the piling there. Um, then it was rubbing up against his mouth down at the bottom. So very, very important is to have, to have a strong leader. This is the business end that gets, that gets all of the, uh, the craziness. That was just a unique one where it went way up the braid as well. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it right here and retie a new leader on there. And we'll be back in action. All right, so we're re-rigged. I'm switching back to the live target. And let's see if we can uh, get into some fun action like that again. That was absolutely insane. Cannot believe that the line held up. That's why I'm a fan of Power Pro. Does a surprisingly good job for a real thin line on getting out of sticky situations like that. All right, so we got something, oh, a little lizard fish. Can't go fishing without at least one lizard fish catch. When you're bouncing jigs off the bottom, these are some crazy looking little fish. A little slimy, real slimy, some sharp little teeth. Oh, sorry, buddy. Back in action. Oh, there we are. Not sure what this is. A little trout. A little trout on the gulp. Gulp is definitely. Definitely getting more uh, more action. All right, little fella. Let him get bigger. All right, trout on the live target. Oh, quick release. We'll call that we'll call that a catch. It was close enough, but uh, yeah, that's promising. First uh, first target species on the live target.
All right, let's see what we have here. This one, little bitty trout. <laughs> They're getting smaller. That was on the gulp. This guy has quite the appetite. All right, should be able to get a snook out of this dock here. There we are. It's a nicer fish. Well, there we are. Called it. I was thinking there'd be a snug there, and sure enough, this is on the live target. My first snook on the live target. Whoa, get out of there, buddy. It's a feisty little guy. This is they uh, they sure do fight hard in this cold weather like this. Solid snook. Down here and get him off. Ooh. Well, I've got a real, real one in back spool <laughs> to hand line him in. It's a solid fish. And there we are. Live target right there in the corner of his mouth. Nice looking fish there. Go ahead and let that guy go. Hook a ride on the right on the top. Perfect setup. Through the hook. And let this guy go. That was fun. He's holding on tight. There we are. He's ripping my finger off. <laughs> there you are, buddy. Well, that was fun. So the live target can catch some snook. And so what happens is uh, this, this, uh, this is a soft plastic. It's a really tough soft plastic. So after you get a fish, it'll slide down and you just have to, you have to bump it back up. And there it's back into place. Now it's ready to rock and catch some more fish. Something's messing me down there. There we go. Two in a row. Oh, this is a ladyfish. Back on the live target, though. Just going right down that shelf. It's a shallow flat, and then it's dug out for that dock. Oh. Oh man, he's had something. There we are. This is another ladyfish. Oh, quick release. That's the way I like them. See what we have here. This might be a trout. Yep, a little trout. Came up and ate the gulp. You really wanted that one. So I was doing a really slow jig. I was actually adjusting my glasses when that thing hit. Little fella. All right, got something else. All right, another trout. Another little guy. On the gulp, I just switched back to the gulp. This is probably what was messing with that live target just a second ago. There he is, little fella. We got something. Oh, hooked a pinfish. <laughs> Even getting the pinfish. This is on the gulp shrimp again. They've been popping at it all day long. I actually finally got the tail off and decided they might as well get snagged too. But, uh, so when these tail, I used to get really upset when the tails get bit off by the little junk fish and they still work. So keep using them. I've actually caught some of my, some of my best fish with the, uh, with the tailless. As long as you just, you just gotta get down there in the good spot and give it some good motion, they'll come up and pop it. Last three casts with the live target and then we'll go ahead and call it a, 
call it a trip. I think we've had enough data for some, some healthy analysis. All right, so we've been fishing for about an hour, 45 minutes. Need to do some, uh, some other topics while we're out here. And so we're gonna wrap this up. What we've seen so far though, is both these lures do work. So this is the second day when using these, both times, both lures caught fish. So they absolutely do work. The, the, the beef I have with this live target is that it's just so expensive. You know, it's, a, it's like $10 for just this one lure. So fishing around docks, if you hook into a big fish and you get wrapped up, or if you hook into like a crab trap or rocks on the bottom, can be an expensive, an expensive outing. And then this gulp, even though the tails get bit off, I, I actually, I, you know, I only use, this is the second one that snook tore off the first one. So I, I did go through more. So this live target is definitely stronger, but uh, these gulps are, 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 you know, get the job done and they're way more affordable. So it's a, a pack of five is, uh, is around $6, I believe. And then you have to get the jig head separately. But of the two, my preference is on the gulp shrimp still. I've, uh, I, although it doesn't look nearly as lifelike, it has good action in the water and it gets strikes. As we saw here, you know, I caught more fish and bigger fish with the gulp shrimp. That's more affordable than live target. So for that reason, I'm gonna be sticking with the gulp shrimp uh, compared to these two. But if you have used this live target shrimp, please let me know your thoughts. Where you found that it was that it was good. If you found that it's the, the ultimate lure for a certain situation, I'd love to hear. And yeah, thanks so much for your time to watch this video. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that guarantees you'll be catching more fish than ever before while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.